Hello, I am Pushkar, Master Teacher in Chemistry at Vedantu and I am discussing J Advanced 2021 paper, Chemistry. Here is a question number 3 which belongs to the kinetics. In this question, 2x plus y is changing into p with the first order kinetics. The rate of formation of p with t is given as to be the kx and 2 moles of x was initially taken, 1 mole of y was taken and at 50 seconds y decreased to 0.5 moles that means 0.5 mole has been reacted. <coughs> we have to find the correct statements regarding what is the rate constant of the reaction, what is the half-life of this reaction and what are the rates at 150 seconds. So let's see how to approach this problem and how to solve this problem. So 2x plus y is changing into p and we can write the rate expression like 1 by 2 dx by dt is equals to minus dy by dt is equals to dp by dt which is q1x. This is first order with respect to s is that is given. And initially we started with 2 and 1 of x and y respectively. t is equals to 50 seconds that minus y remains minus 0.5 that means it has reacted 0.5. The remaining y is 0 0.5 and that means that 1 of 2, 1 of x has reacted so the amount of x left is equals to 1 that gives us the clue that the concentration of reactant decreased to half in 50 seconds time which means t half is equals to 50 seconds that's for sure t half is equals to 50 seconds now if t half is 50 seconds can we find out the rate of the reaction so rate constant of the reaction because rate constant of the reaction now uh, k is equals to for first order process ln 2 by t half ln 2 by t half so this is k is equals to ln 2 by t half so that is coming out to be 0 0.693 upon 50 seconds but here is a catch when we calculate for this particular reaction, when we calculate T half and if the rate constant is given, some rate constant is given and somebody is asking you the rate constant. So we have to see this expression 1 by 2 dx by dt. When we solve this expression, we are going to get 2k into t is equals to ln of a naught by at and which means that if at is equals to a naught by 2, that means 2 k into t half is equals to ln 2. So in this particular case, the rate constant given in this particular case, the t half should be equal to what? t half should be ln 2 by 2k. So if we want to get this value, then 2k is equals to ln 2 by t half. And that means k is equal to 0 0.693 upon 50 into 2, which is equals to 0 0.693 into 10 to the power minus 2 and which we can write 6.93 into 10 to the power minus 3. That should be the rate constant. So what are the options given? Rate constant K of this reaction is 13.86 into 10 to the power minus 4. So obviously that is <clears throat> wrong statement. So the option A is the wrong statement. Half-life is indeed 50 seconds, no doubt about that because the concentration has reached to the half of the value in this particular time and at 50 seconds what is the rate of this reaction? So at 50 seconds minus dx by dt they are asking so minus dx by dt is equals to twice of q1x minus dx by dt is equals to twice of k1 times of x and x here is equals to at 50 seconds we already know that at 50 seconds the value of x is equals to 1 so this is basically twice of k1 twice of k right? <clears throat> and twice of k we have already seen that twice of k is equals to 0 0.693 upon 50 multiplied by 2 which is equals to 1. Point 2362981 and 2612 
1.3 into 10 to the power minus 2. So that should be the value of minus dx by dt and uh, this is of course given as to be 13.86 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this option is a correct option and if we take at uh, minus dx by dt is equals to this and at 100 seconds minus dy by dt is equals to what? So if we look at 100 seconds then since it is a first order process in 100 seconds the concentration should still become half of this so at this point the concentration remaining concentration of this should be 0 0.5 of x so at 100 seconds if x is this much so we have to find out what by what rate x is decaying so that is k times of x so k here is equals to we have calculated 6.93 into 10 to the power minus 3 6.93 into 10 to the power minus 3 into x is equals to simply half that is kx and this must be equal to minus dy by dt so this is coming out to be 2 3 2 4 8 and 2 6 12 and into 10 to the power minus 3 let us see is this the correct option 3.46 into 10 to the power minus 3 so this is also a correct option so the correct options are b c and d correct options in this questions are b c and d so this question is a special question nowadays I j is time and again asking these kind of questions with the coefficient of x is 2 or something like this so this is going to affect the rate constant and so this expression becomes very important and this expression also become very important in order to calculate the rate constant okay so this is the idea how to proceed in this reaction they have to do this kind of calculation i hope that you understand the solution stay tuned for more detailed discussions of the questions of j advanced 2021 thanks a lot for watching